All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to edit um, music so that you can add a soundtrack to this video file. Now, I removed the, the uh, soundtrack in uh, Premiere, so that's easy to do. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go File, Movie, Open Movie, and I'm going to integrate the movie. So you'll have access to this in your uh, Google Classroom. So uh, add it. So click Open and add everything. Click OK. And... Let's go to 44 and let's see. The movie has a frame rate of 25. So put it to the right frame rate. Let's do that. So now this is coming in. And what happens is here you see the movie that you're going to be able to scrub. I'm just going to click. But I also want to show you that it's also here. So when you press the space bar, it'll start playing. And you can see the movie moving. Now it's important to realize that it's already been edited in Premiere. So if you're not satisfied with a clip, you have to do this in Premiere. But uh, for our purposes, we're happy with this video. I want everybody to have the same video and you create your own soundtrack. All right. So one thing that I want you to notice is it creates a track here. And one thing that you may want to do, is if you click this button, uh, you will see that you have these uh, global variables, basically. So we click on option G, what it'll do is allow you to add markers, which you should have, and maybe the key signature, uh, and that's pretty much probably all you need. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on here, and under the marker, so what you may want to do is decide, all right, so at this clip, so I'm going to go back uh, a little bit, like one half, so I'll go here, so maybe right here. I'm going to add marker and maybe I want to write soft music. You decide, you know, and then maybe at the next clip, so changes right away over here, changes the camera angle. You could even add another marker. So press the plus key and there you go. So basically what you're doing is you're adding soundtrack to this. Now it's important for you to realize that when you're done, you're going to bounce this file as an mp3 and you need to add it in Premiere Pro or iMovie or some program to the track like, and then from there you export it and add it to Google Classroom. So there's a lot in here. Um, so one of the things that you want to do of course is I'm just going to pretend that I already know what I want to put here and maybe it's just a piano track. So here I would go uh, command 4 Bring up the piano roll. I'm going to close this for now because I've already, and maybe I play my track, you know, I, whatever. Or maybe I want to go get a loop because I have a loop in mind. Go grab it. So I'm going to just drag it in here. Now, this is a very, very short clip, so probably uh, that's not realistic. Usually you can add extra instruments. So right now I have one, and maybe you have a soft keyboard playing over here. And then when you add a second instrument uh, or loop, you can just drag it and look, put it below here. So your goal is to, so let's just pretend I wanted this loop. And so what I'm going to do now is go click on the movie. And I'm going to put it actually, of course, right here where the marker is. You'll see it come in here. Okay, so you just need to double click this to make it reappear. So let's have a look and see what it looks like. And so you might need to cut it a little bit here. Oops, and the button below is cut. And, um, you know, you just keep going like that. And how do you add a new software instrument? Just over here, and then software instrument, create, and you have your new software instrument, or again, maybe you're just dragging a loop. If you, this is if you're gonna do MIDI keyboard or any recording, this is if you're using uh, any kind of, so if you have any questions, please let me know, but don't forget, you have to go to Premiere and attach the music after you've bounced it. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know.